make money with other people's money. Welcome to the world of leverage trading. You're gonna be learning what is leverage, why you wanna use a decentralized exchange, what are candles, what are time frames, and what do we use as indicators to tell us when to get in and out of the market? So let's get on to the first part, the benefits. Why would you wanna use other people's money to trade? The more money you get access to, the more money that you can actually make in terms of your return if you're in the right crypto. And we're gonna talk about some risks because risks are very real in leverage trading in the next video. But I've used this strategy to make way, way, way more money using two, three, sometimes even up to four times my capital in order to invest. Now, why would I want to do this? Well, if the market goes up, it just compounds my gains that much faster. Now, again, you do have to be very careful and I want you to understand this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing and this is just what I teach my students. Now, why would you wanna trade on a decentralized exchange such as gains.trade? Well, the reason is, is because that crypto is in your custody. Y'all remember FTX? FTX was not a decentralized exchange and lots of people lost lots of money for the short term because it looks like a lot of them are gonna get, get paid back. However, they're not gonna get paid back all of the money that they are owed. On decentralized exchanges, it is an honest way and a fully transparent way for you to trade in your own custody using what are called smart contracts. I'm not gonna talk about smart contracts too much today, but smart contracts essentially say, hey, if I trade for this, and if I set parameters to take a profit or to uh, set a, a stop loss, it will generate these things using the code so that I don't need to worry about some third party, you know, potentially not executing or them taking my money like has happened with so many different centralized exchanges. Again, the most famous one was FTX and guess what? They were the largest leverage trading exchange in the world at that point in time. So we always wanna make sure that the money or crypto is in our custody. This is rule number one. And again, this is something that I teach to my students in their first lesson. Now let's talk about what candles are because a lot of people don't even understand what that is. So let's go here to my screen and you can see here, each one of these little bars that we have is a representation of the time frame that we're on. So say for instance, right here, this time frame is set to 24 hours. That means that each one of these bars in time represents one day or 24 hours, okay? And this gives us an idea as to what the market is doing within that time frame. Now, some people like to go to like way faster time frames, like 10 minute or the 15 minute. I'm not a big fan. This is just too volatile. It's too twitchy. I like zooming out because that helps me to make better long-term decisions. In regards to my indicators, I use longer time frames, but on gains, it only allows you to go up to 24 hours. So here, I usually set it to 24 hours because again, I wanna get a scope of the long-term, not just these quick little movements that are happening in short time amounts of time because I don't have time to sit there and watch the market all day long. So what I do is I set this up at 24 hours, right when I get into gains, that way I make sure that I'm able to look at this from afar. Now, one of the things that you wanna do is you wanna connect your wallet because when you connect your wallet to the decentralized exchange, it's like logging into your account, except that's basically your login. So there is no you know, username and password in DeFi. What it is, is you use your wallet to log in. That's how you give permission. And if your wallet's not connected, you cannot log in. So you can see up here, this is where you would be logging in and clicking to, to get set up. Some other real quick things that you may wanna understand here are what are these here? These are basically pairs that are being traded. Now you can see here, these are different logos here. These are the pairs that are being traded on different blockchains. So this one's being traded on Polygon and these are being traded on Arbitrum. 
you need to understand how to bridge money over to Arbitrum in order to leverage trade using gains.trade with a lot of their pairs. Now they have some pairs, which you can see here on again, Polygon, which you can see right here and Arbitrum. Now they have this as a practice uh, you can practice if you want to learn how to do leverage trading. That's a great uh, way to start. Uh, however, I just know how to do it. So I've gone in and just started here. But you want to make sure that usually you're set to Arbitrum because this is where the most amount of volume is. What do I want when I'm looking for a decentralized exchange? Well, I want lots of volume. So let's take a look at the daily trades here. This is something that tells me how much volume is going on in Arbitrum. So right here, it does say $28 million worth of volume. That's a nice amount of volume going on per day. If you're getting into a leveraged trading decentralized platform and the volume is 500,000 or 100,000, I probably would be very wary of those platforms because there's not enough liquidity and you might get some real hocus pocus going on. I like using the decentralized exchanges that a lot of people are using. And again, Gains is a really, really great place to figure that out. Now, why would you really want to leverage trade though? Check this out. Look at these gains right here. All right, this is just a few days of trading. Now, this right here is 72 bucks. I'm up 5%. I'm up 57% on this one. I'm up 30% on this one. I'm up 31% on this one. I'm up 22% here. What I'm doing is I'm using momentum in order for me to make this amount of money. Now, does this mean that I make money all the time? No, it doesn't. So what do I use in order to tell me when to get in and when to get out? Well, this is what we call the SSL. Now, again, remember how we were talking about these time frames. okay? Each one of these candles is a representative of three days because this is what I have it set up to. So Sui is one crypto that I'm buying. This is the one that I'm up 57% in just a few days. So you can see here, Sui is is above this blue line. So it shifted from red to blue. Now there's a whole strategy behind when I get in and when I get out, but for the most part, what happens is when I use this momentum indicator, because it's telling me the momentum is going down or the momentum is starting to go up. When I use this momentum indicator, this is what tells me when to get in and when to get out. And I teach my students how to set this up properly. And it's very simple. I have even 80 year old students setting this up, but it, it does require a, a class on how to get, get this set up properly and how to use it properly. But this is a very simple indicator that will allow you to be getting in and out of the market. Just when it turns red here, you're out. When it turns green here, you're in. Now, what do we do when we use this? This tells us the indicator of when we're jumping in and when we're jumping out. Now I use different time frames to dollar cost average or get in at different time frames. I don't just go all in when it turns blue on this indicator here, or I don't just get all out when it turns red on this indicator here. There's a method to the strategy that we teach in our course, but it helps us to identify when to get in and when to get out. We've got three more videos to go, but I'm also having a webinar on October 15th. It's limited space, so you wanna get registered right away on going in deeper as to some of our success stories, but also how you can take part in learning this stuff on a deeper level. The link is down below. And part two of this segment is just right above. Click on that and I'll see you on the next video.